Susanna Paonia plays volleyball for Valdosta State University and has a track record of success in the sport. She is a child of two professional athletes and hails from the country of Italy. Her transition to the States has been both a rewarding and challenging experience. Um, well, I started off playing sports, but I started playing softball at first because both of my parents played professional baseball and softball back home in Italy. And then we moved from my hometown and where I moved to, they didn't have softball. So then at that point, my parents asked me if I wanted to, you know, try volleyball from the moment that I'm six feet tall. And, you know, I said yes. And from there, I just started playing volleyball. Susie's talents brought her to the States after she realized that she can compete at the collegiate level in the U.S. Susie also mentions how this process was a fairly difficult decision and transition for her. The first one that pushed the thought in my mind was my mom. So for sure she wanted me to go. And then when I started doubting uh, really about going because I got to a time which it was pretty close to my deadline to say yes or no, um, kind of like freaked out. And I went to my dad, I'm like, you know, um, I've been moving last four years of my life and I'm kind of missing like that stability of having like that same friends that I can see every day. And then he told me that I had a huge opportunity. So he, he pushed me to going like through the good decision that I made uh, to actually leave. So they, they have always been very encouraging about leaving. Susie mentions how the scale of things in the U.S. were somewhat intimidating to her when she arrived in the States. She also encountered a language barrier early on. I didn't have like a really big culture shock, but I've never visited the States uh, before coming here like for school. So that was uh, hard uh, because it was hard for me to orientate myself and uh, everything that I, was, that I looked at for me looked very big. So that was like a huge difference for me, like the streets, houses, and everything for me was huge. And then obviously, first months, it was the language. It was hard. It was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. So, I mean, it was hard. After winning a national championship during her time at the State College of Florida, Susie decided to pursue a new challenge and use her talents elsewhere. This brought her to Valdosta State University to take on this new challenge. From Florida to Valdosta, um, my recruiting process has been very, very long and I sent a lot of emails but people would not answer me back or sometimes answering me back that I was too small to be a middle blocker. So they turned me down a lot of time and then Coach Swan emailed me and he asked me if I wanted to come to Valdosta and I accepted. Susie stresses the importance of being involved. She talks about her past involvement at the State of College of Florida and what she currently does at Valdosta State. My, my other school, I would just go to class and then just go to volleyball. You know, that was about it. The only lucky thing that I had when I was there was the beach that was very close because I was in Florida. But other than that, I was just like school, volleyball, the beach. So, I mean, it's just like, nah, you know, not so adventurous. And I didn't, I, I was not involved in like college life, like at all. So instead, when I came here in Valdosta last year, even if it was just class and volleyball, I felt like also in classes I would like be more involved. And here on campus, they have so many activities too. So, I mean, that's, that's always nice. And sometimes you just find yourself in the middle of something that you don't even know about. So, and then this year I got a job too. So, I mean, I, I had the opportunity to, to have co-workers that are students too so I mean they truly understand what it means to be a student and work at the same time and it's fun to be there at the Student Success Center so for me involvement is important because it gets you more connected and it gives you like even more opportunities when you don't expect it to come. Solamente di non aver paura che ogni volta che prendete una decisione o avete un'opportunità dite di sì perché avrete sempre la possibilità di tornare indietro io avevo paura quando ho scelto di venire qua a VSU o di venire qua in, in America però alla fine è, è andata tutto bene e sempre come mi ha detto mio papà mi ha detto buttati non aver paura e una volta che sei là puoi sempre tornare indietro the sky is the limit for this gifted volleyball player. In Susie's world, anything is possible. You just have to have the courage to take that leap of faith.